I want to talk about a really powerful framework of thinking. It's, it's the difference between a problem and a dilemma. A problem is something that has, it's a circumstance that has a remedy. It has a solution. Okay, so if your car runs out of gas, you fill the tank and the problem is solved. If this light burns out, you replace the bulb, the problem is solved. Okay? I contrast that to a dilemma. A dilemma is the existence of inherently conflicting forces that are at work in a system all the time. There is a tension associated with a dilemma that you can never eliminate. Think about your business. Do you do what's best for your customer? Do you do what's best for your company? Do you do what's best for yourself? Yes. In whatever you do, is it more important that you pay attention to short-term results or long-term results? Yes. If you're in a relationship, do you do what's best for you? Do you do what's best for your partner? Do you do what's best for the couple? Yes. When the answer to a multiple choice question is all of the above, it's a dilemma. You cannot solve a dilemma. The best you can do is manage it. A relationship is a dilemma. If you were in a relationship with another human being, you got a dilemma. Okay, now, some of you say, no, nope. if you saw my relationship, you'd say it's a problem. <laughs> but it's a dilemma, okay? You have two individuals who have different sets of needs. So there is no silver bullet to eliminate the anxiety or the tension in a relationship. The best you do is you manage it. You, you know, move it one way or the other. So let me give some examples. Um, if we're short one chair in this room, okay, and if I frame it as a problem, then we'll say, okay, let's go get another chair, bring it in, problem solved. If, however, I frame that as a dilemma, I'd say, uh, VG, we're short a chair. Would you mind standing for because we're missing a chair? And by the way, just to be fair, why don't every five minutes, let's rotate so that each person gets a chance to stand. That would be if we framed it as a dilemma. Um, if the light bulb burned that, replace it, problem solved. If we frame that as a dilemma, we'd say, okay, let's, let's all take turns rotating so everybody gets to sit in the dark spot and can't read their notes for a while. It's important how you frame them. You ever worked in an organization where you have a problem performer? I'm sure it wasn't any of you. If you frame a problem performer as a problem, then you act on the problem. You get them, send them to remedial training, get them a coach, put them on probation, whatever you do. But at the end of the day, British Airways did a culture change project 15 years ago. One of the principles they came away with was, if you can't change the people, change the people. So if you do everything for this problem performer and it doesn't, they don't get fixed, then you get rid of them, problem solved. However, if you frame the problem performer as a dilemma, what do you do? You move them around. You put them on a special assignment. You give them a special project to work on over here. You, you move them to somebody else's department. You're not really dealing with the problem you're framing as a dilemma. I actually had a client. They were European based, so you know, in the EU, you gotta be really creative to get yourself fired. So they institutionalized this notion of dealing with problem performers as a dilemma. In their headquarters building, on the third floor, they had an area that was unofficially known in the organization as punishment land. This was a space filled by people who didn't cut it in their job, but because we don't really want to fire them, because we want to reward loyalty, or we just, it's our value, we put them all there. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. People would walk by punishment land, they'd look at them like, ooh, you know, like you look at smokers in a cage at the airport, or like you go into the zoo, people walk by, ooh, look, they, you know, I mean, these are people, they're good people, they just couldn't cut it in their job, so organization kept them around. The important thing about a problem and a dilemma is you don't confuse them. The frame is really important. I worked in an organization where the copier didn't work, this is long ago. They framed it as a dilemma. If you frame it as a problem, then you get it, rid of it and you get a new copier. 
Okay, they framed this as a dilemma. So what they did was when you went to copy something, they'd say, well, you can only do 15 pages at a time. And it's like, I think the, the copy repairman was invited to their weddings because the guy was there you know, once a week. So it's important not to get the two things confused. One of the things that's an issue in the US at the moment is um, eavesdropping. Okay, the National Security Agency has been listening in, apparently, on phone calls and emails, and that sort of thing. It's framed as a problem. So what will happen, I'll tell you what will happen. For the next year, there will be an unlimited amount of congressional hearings about this problem. Nothing's going to happen. You know why? Because it's not a problem. It's a dilemma. The dilemma is, do you want security or do you want freedom? Okay. There's no silver bullet. That's just a tension that you will never eliminate. Okay.